This morning, God is seeking for a person he can trust. And here, I am not talking about whether you are available or whether you are capable or whether you have the ability. God has a lot of so many things he wants to accomplish in this world. But God is lacking some people who are trustworthy. Can God trust you with his money, with his people, or with a certain assignment? This statement may look so basic and very simple, but I want to tell you, my brothers and my sister, this is the same reason why many people have not been granted access to the deeper things of God. When we read our theme there, launching out into the deep, all of us we are seeking throughout this year and really praying that God may take us into the deep. But even as we seek those deeper things of God, can God trust you with his anointing, with his favor, with his effective grace? The Lord wants to commit new and greater dimensions of his anointing upon you and me and upon his people. The Lord wants to commit higher and superior levels of influence. The Lord wants to commit access. The Lord wants to commit prosperity like never before upon all believers. But there is one question with the level of influence and access. Can God trust you with a kingdom-minded information? Or can God trust you with a classified spiritual information this morning? Can you be a faithful steward of the miseries or the miseries of the kingdom of God? Can God trust you this morning with the children you are trusting that the God he gives you? Can God trust you with the ministry that you desire, that he can give you? Can God trust you even this morning with the increase in your life? Can God trust you this morning with his effective grace and that special supernatural divine favor of God? Can God trust you with it? God has always wanted to commit unto you and me that greater anointing, higher superior level of influence, access, and to riches and prosperity, especially to all believers. Hear what the man who really the master entrusted with at least five talents, he said very well in the book of Matthew chapter 5, chapter 25, and verse 20. See, I have gained five more. And here now in verse 21, what the master replied to this man, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with the few. I will put you in charge of many things. Those many things are not just only worldly riches and wealth. They are the same things we are asking there. That the God may take us into the deep where our feet cannot wander, where our faith will grow stronger in the presence of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Some of us, when God blesses you with wisdom, with riches, and with wealth, even with his anointing, when Gine were to hupotea in the process. Just because God has uplifted you and has given you a lot of favor, grace, anointing, riches, and wealth, when Gine tunaanza kuanda mainu watu wengine, just because this favor is upon me. Yet when God decided to entrust you with that favor, he was expecting you and me to become a good faithful steward, but not to see other people as if God is not together with them, but to know it is only that by the masses of God, God has entrusted me with the five talents, and there is something God is expecting me to do with such a powerful gift. Bona Persifa. Many other times when we are blessed even with riches and wealth, some of us end up being corrupt. Yet when they were just poor, 
seeking God to bless them with riches and wealth. They were people who were always humble and honest and faithful to God. But after now having and experiencing much and much in their life, now they turn away from God slowly by slowly. The devil takes away from God and then they start doing things contrary to the will of God. God never commit his power to his people. He has not tested. He must test you first. He must test me first. Could it be that that is why you are not getting your desired result because you have not gotten to the level whereby he, now God, can trust you? Could it be that is the reason as to why I want to move to the next level, but I am not able? The many times, the many years I have been in the kingdom of God, I'm supposed to continue advancing to a level whereby our Lord and our Master Jesus Christ can entrust me like what Jesus did to his disciples. They were able to preach the gospel of Christ and they were able to touch every corner of this world. And that is why me and you, we are there. Can God trust you to an extent whereby he can entrust you with such a supernatural divine anointing so that now the kingdom of God can be advanced. The Bible says those who will turn many souls into the kingdom of God, they will shine like the stars in the sky. These are the people whom God will entrust with them such a special anointing that they can preach the gospel of Christ and thousands and millions of people come to Jesus Christ. And there in heaven, our Father will be happy. Buona Pesifa. God was very confident with the job. And the job knew, and God knew very well that even though I can allow the devil to go and test my servant Job, there is no single point Job can turn against me. So God was totally, he had the confidence, full of confidence. That even though I can give the devil permission to go and torture and torment uh, my servant Job, there is no way Job can turn away from me. Just imagine God in heaven, a conversation of you in heaven between our God and Satan. God having total confidence. God really trusting you that nothing can move you from his presence. What if now there in heaven, God is saying, I know this man, throughout his life, even to his old age, he will never turn away from me. He really trusts in me. When others are trusting upon horses and chariots, he always trusts upon me as his Lord and his master and provider. There are areas in the Bible whereby we can also preach about trusting upon God. But here I am talking about God trusting and trusting in you to an extent whereby in heaven he can give a testimony of you. Because when he looks in your heart, there is no ill feeling. There is nothing, there is no spot of sin. When God looks at your heart, deeper inside your heart, he is the one who searches, he examines our hearts. Even right now God knows what you are thinking, what is in your heart. But when he looks in your heart, he can there in heaven say and give a testimony, surely this man really loves me. It is very interesting that the Apostle Paul says, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 17, our present troubles are preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. We like the honor, yes, we as human beings, we like the honor, we like favor, we like also influence that come with glory. But we do not realize there is a weight that comes with it. If you are not prepared for it, then the favor of God will not be a blessing to you, but will only be a burden. But we have to pass some tests before God that God may entrust us with the weight of his glory. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, the delays we normally experience in our life, the disappointments and the bad breaks are some of the tests ordered by the Lord. Will you be good to people who are not being good to you? 
Will you stay in faith when you come down with an illness? When you are sick? When you are really sick? When you are praying and it is like the heaven is quiet? Nobody is answering your prayer. Nobody is visiting you when you are in a problem. Will you still remain faithful to God even at that moment? When you are overlooked for a promotion, will you fully remain faithful and trust upon God? When you and me, we happen to understand that God uses difficulties to prepare us, to stretch out our faith, to change us, that even at some time, you don't complain when things don't go on your way. You just remain silent and wait upon God to come. You realize it is serving a purpose. That is why sometimes, even today, God does not remove things instantly in our life. I remember one day, one time, back at home, there was a mango tree that had so many mangoes. And on it, a few branches were not able to handle the weight and started to touch to the ground. Now, those mangoes didn't develop properly. And that is why sometimes we are wondering why God is not giving us more influence, more wealth, more increase, more favor and opportunities. It may be because our branches cannot handle the weight right now. If God gives you 10 mangoes or oranges, but your branch can only sustain three, then it is not a blessing, but a burden. Instead of focusing on the fruits, focus on, let us all of us focus on developing our branches. Focus on getting stronger, being a person of excellence and integrity, treating people with respect day in, day out, giving God praise when you could be complaining. Just imagine the time you are supposed to be complaining, that is the time you are supposed to be praising God. Now, when you do that, when your character is getting stronger, remember always your roots are going deeper and deeper and you will be able to carry the weight of that fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. As I wind up, I want to say this one. You have a calling on your life, and there is an assignment for you to fulfill, even me too. You are not created to just get by like other people. There is greatness. You have a greatness in you. You are created to stand out, to rise higher, to leave your mark. What you do in the seemingly small areas where nobody can see you or even notice you, where nobody will know you, that little thing you are doing there will determine whether God can trust you with the big things or not. Can God trust you this morning with more favor, with more resources, with increase, with abundant grace, with his anointing, influence, and resources? I pray that you may be that person from today and from now whom God can trust and put in charge of his deeper things favor, power, influence, resources for his own glory in Jesus' mighty name.